Stand up. We're going to open up the word of the Lord in Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 3. Chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 3. It is almost in the middle of the Bible, almost uh, uh, very near the new, the beginning of the New Testament. Almost come to uh, is in the Minor Prophets. The Bratton Deck were not able to find it. Is here on the projection. Habakkuk, chapter three. The prayer, the prophet Habakkuk, in the form of song. O oh Lord, I've, I have heard your speech and was afraid. I'm sorry. Let me begin again. <laughs> A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet on Sing, Sing Yonath. O Lord, I have heard your speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive your work in the midst of your years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. Amen. The church may be seated. The brethren may have already noticed the intonation may change a word, so we sometimes have to be pay attention in our homework, have to pay attention to what we are going to say. Sometimes an intonation sometimes change the meaning of a word, right? The prof prophet Habakkuk. He says here a prayer which is transformed into a song. When we read the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms, there are hymns. There, it's, a, it's a book composed of, uh, there were. Um, altered by people that have been inspired by the Holy Spirit and they brought there in the lyrics um, a message that would be a part of a song that's why the word of the Lord says sing to the Lord a new song because it is important the prayer, uh, the praises in the midst of the church. The praises, there is something that comes from the part of the Lord. The revealed praise, and it comes from a, a redeemed soul, right? A soul that has gratitude to the Lord, a soul that recognizes what the Lord has done for that person's life. So the praises, they depart from a um, redeemed soul. They flow from a redeemed soul. That's why the church praises the Lord. So the importance of praises, because the word affirms that God inhabits in the midst of the praises. The word reveals to us that in front of the throne, the angels sing songs day and night to the Lord because He is worthy of our praises. 
The Lord has prepared a church, a people. We may be able to say that we are just here rehearsing. In this world, we are rehearsing what is going to be in eternity. But there, it's going to be different. There, we are not going to have instrument players talking to one another in front of the throne. <laughs> there, we're not going to have any of it. We will have fellowship with the Lord because the praises or they are very important. Saul, when he was oppressed, when Saul was, he was out of his mind, and he had already tried many things in order to get out of this anguish of this problem that took over his heart. So then he decided to call David to play the harp, right? And when David <coughs> began to play the harp, he was there, delivered, because the praises, they deliver, the praises deliver the soul that are tired. The praises deliver the preoccupied mind. There is a theory in physics that says the following. Two bodies cannot occupy the same space. It, right? If I put this piece of paper here, that's it. The space belongs to this sheet of paper. It is impossible for you to revoke a law of physics because this is a law that has been proven. My brethren, the Lord gave us vision which is exactly this. The Lord wants to occupy our hearts and the Lord enters. Everything that does not belong to the Lord is going away because there is no room for two bodies. Hallelujah! Because when there is light, there is no darkness. Right? And the church, it lives in the light. Heard the Lord. Heard, O oh Lord, your word. I heard, Lord, your word, and I was afraid. The importance of being or fearing the Lord. Not fearing men. Not fearing the pastor or the deacon or the worker. No. We're not here to fear men. But we are here to fear the Lord. Because this space here was made holy for the Lord. And the Lord has already occupied this space. And the space that the Lord occupies, there is praise in its midst. And there, is, there are praises in its midst. And gratitude. Lord, I heard your voice and I was afraid and this is very rare today to to find this in the world here people are no longer afraid they have people go there and kill and still bring harm to their neighbor because they believe in uh, a impunity they don't believe anymore but well, there is a people that fear the Lord people that fears the word. Oh, 
I have heard your speech and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive your work in the midst of you of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. A brethren, how long has been since the our Lord Jesus has died on the cross of Calvary? It's been almost actually more than 2,000 years, right? But his work is being revived every year in our hearts. Because the project of God that God started, He will finish it. Independent on whether I will be here or whether you will be here, but the Lord will raise others because the Lord will revive His kingdom and His temple. Lord, in Your wrath, remember mercy. My brethren, we live in difficult moments. We can say in times of wrath, on uh, traffic, a man is angry. Man is even, e even in the work environment, that wrath is there. But what is the prayer of the church? Lord, remember of your mercy. The Lord also revealed that there was a man that made a decision that was wrong. And this has brought to him a great difficulty in his home. Right? But the Lord tonight is giving him a new direction. And he is telling you, no, use a faith, right? Because without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. And in our decisions, we need to have faith. We have to seek the Lord's will, seek the Lord. I'm going to make a decision. We need to ask the Lord, use faith, is this the right moment, Lord? Are you going, you're going on a trip, a faraway place. You're going to acquire something, right? That may, something that may cause some sort of change in your life. You need to seek God's will. You have to use your faith. Because if the Lord says no, it is no. But why is that? Because the Lord wants to protect us. He doesn't want us, oh, but the Lord didn't allow, I'm going to be sad. No, no, my brother. Be happy because the Lord knows about your future. The Lord knows what is going to happen in the future. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, in wrath, remember mercy. Right? My brethren, this is a moment in which the church has to ask the Lord, Lord, remember wrath, remember mercy, Lord, so that the wrath may not um, harm us, the wrath of this world. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My brethren, we may speak in loud voice. The Lord has helped us up until this point, right? Up until this point, we have seen the mercy of the Lord upon our lives. 
even though we don't deserve it. But the Lord has been merciful. The Lord has been loving. The Lord, as being a father, has not allowed us to lack anything. Although there are moments in which we may be in situations, adverse situations, situations of anguish, situation in which it seems as though this trial is going to defeat us, but that's the moment in which the solution of the Lord enters. That's the moment in which the Lord enters. This is the moment in the Lord says, "Look, I saw my servant there, and he's losing his strength, but he needs, he has trusted in me, and I will send him my resources." This is the God that we serve, the God that has not allowed us to lack anything. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us sing that song. Even the fig tree may not flourish. The praise group is and a blessing. Amen. There you go. Glory to God, huh? The praise look the praise group and the instrument players. They are target of our prayers. Twenty-four hours a day. If the day had twenty-five hours, we need to pray for these people here, my brethren. You know why? Because they are jewels in the presence of the Lord. They are jewels. Look, these people, see, they come from work tired, come from their trials and difficulties, and pick up their instruments, they begin to play. Ah, look, I wouldn't do this. Sometimes, when I sit down here, I think, I, would I be able to pick up an instrument and praise the name of the Lord? So then I say, this is a people that is a precious people in the presence of the Lord. They should be a target of our prayers. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Church will stand up.
Oh, through Jesus. Lord, we praise you and give you praises, Lord. Because every day you have renewed and bring a revival to our hearts, Lord. We praise the Lord for the service that we offer you, Lord. As a sweet smell, Lord, receive in your presence. We pray to you, therefore, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. And I say to you, peace of the Lord, if by any chance you still need a prayer, so that the Lord may confirm the blessing in your heart, we're here, ready to serve you.